Hi, what's going on guys? It's Solomon. Welcome back to another Wizard101 video. Today's video, it's not going to be a rematch duel for today. It's not going to be anything regarding the raid, but it's going to be regarding the future of Wiz and advanced combat as we see it. I know you guys are looking forward to me doing the other rematch duels and posting videos, but the strats that I have at least listed at the moment, they require power pips in certain scenarios and with the pip chance not working as intended, um, I can't really do those. And I want to wait and hold off to pip chance gets fixed. Usually KI doesn't put a, a patch on the weekends, so I don't expect a patch for the pips till maybe like Wednesday or maybe Tuesday. I'll be surprised if Monday, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm gonna hold off on the raid content. I'm gonna hold off on the rematch content and focus on some other stuff. So yesterday on stream, I was doing the rematch duels and just writing down strats. Usually you guys have been coming, tuning in. Um, if you guys haven't, be sure to check out the streams, but on Twitch, um, Cam came in my chat. If you don't know who Cam is, dev, content creator, master of all things. You already know Cam, right? Um, but this is the regarding the future of Wiz. So in some of my strats, and mainly the Nightshade one, right? The Lord Nightshade one, we did a three round strat that I posted on the YouTube channel, right? Well, it's not intentional, <laughs> of course, because you're not supposed to be able to dispel the cheat ideally you can make it a five round once they fix the cheat you can probably make it a little bit lower but i would have to double check it you just run all balances and just spam hydra and you can kill in round five but in, that just extends it from a three round to like a four or five round because of you know using cheese but that also includes advanced combat and other scenarios when we come when we come talk about whiz right so if we're talking about the other rematch duels dispel is very useful right it's very useful for like if the jade oni for example has his cheat that he does after he has like a blade you know he sets up his gambit whatever you can just dispel the cheat same thing in raids in raids not so much really um no one really uses dispels i'd say in the azteca raid but when it comes to the void raid right people do tend to use ellie dispel on jaguar right and you know dispel is kind of somewhat there right no one really uses stuns as much you see stuns more often in regular pve like on gold key bosses or cheesing bosses just in general questing regular pve mechanics outside of advanced combat and i mean yeah pvp is a whole separate scenario of course when we talk about pvp when people are using dispels when someone's in shrike so they can get an extra round of them taking ticking damage from the shrike or whether it be someone doing a dispel or like a, a medusa or something like that so they can get more value out of it things like that but if there's a thing that could happen down the line is dispels just being removed from advanced combat or maybe even stuns right i feel like stuns have value right especially in certain fights but just making a boss stun immune just completely negates that, right? If you just make a boss stun immune, which <laughs> a good amount of bosses in this game are, um, but now removing the factor of you know dispels is going to be a completely different thing. I feel like regular PvE questing, you know, farm key bosses are going to be fine. But there's going to be a point in Wiz where I feel like we're going to have advanced combat in gold key bosses. And I know that's going to tilt some people being like, wow, so I can't farm spell elements. I can't do this. But I mean, it's honestly expected at this point. If you see where the game's going, if these rematch duels, even though they don't require a key, of course, but they do give azoth you know you do you are getting spell immense, and you are getting you know pack gear which is a sky fairy gear now if you translate that when it comes to the key bosses you're doing the same exact thing aren't you yeah you're spending a key you know you're getting spell elements from that boss you're getting pack gear which is you know depending on the boss you're getting that specific pack gear and you're also getting azoth from the key bosses what is stopping them from doing advanced combat in there don't know right and once that does happen, the cheese is going to be gone. No more Scald and Cindy because it's advanced combat rules, right? And what's them from stopping using dispels and stuns? You can't really dispel bosses and you won't be able to stun bosses because most of them already have um, stun immunity. 
So what's left there, cheese? You can't use will cast pets. You won't be able to use will cast hex, curse, whatever, right? Or the bubbles, of course, as well, right? Take that all out of the equation. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna do smoke screen? <laughs> but if these guys already have more than enough perfect accuracy, they're probably not gonna fizzle. At that point, you're playing an RNG game, you know, versus a consecutive thing, which is like stuns and dispels. So are people just gonna start using smoke screens and weakening mantles on from their decks and like smoke screen from which is like from fire spells? Oh no, right? I feel like that's gonna happen at one point and I know some people might be like, well, okay, so then what's the point of incendiate then? Well, incendiate is a broken spell. I mean, we can all agree. Everyone uses incendiate when farming stuff, right? Even on the key bosses, right? For questing purposes, it's even better because you can just speed on questing the whole game, right? So I don't think they'll just completely just take out Skull and Cindy and make it so it's like not viable anymore. It'll still be viable when it's questing, right? But when it comes to key bosses and rematch and advanced combat, well, at the moment you can use it in, in um, key bosses, right? But I expect in the near future that you won't be able to incendiate these bosses you won't be able to uh do certain things and if you use the rematch as an example right because this is their new mechanic and stuff like that that they're doing where let's say i'm a level 160 and you know the, the rematch scales down to 50 of course right and a level 50 wants to join and they want to farm they're gonna get level 50 gear i'm gonna get 160 gear what's from like what's stopping them to do the exact same thing in rematches right it, or not rematches in key bosses i can see it happening at one point right i can very much seeing them translating that whole feature into key bosses key bosses are now going to scale right to like they'll probably have like a set level based upon the world and then upon that you're also getting um, rewards based upon your level right and i can very much see that happening you know if i'm wrong i'm wrong of course right this is all speculation but this is going based upon just seeing the like the upcoming updates with wiz right and just with these arc one rematches you guys can see that we got sky fairy gear that was basically the same stats but just you know the outfit is just the mali gear that you can get from the spiral villains i already know the next set of gear from the our two rematches are gonna be the morganth outfit what stack gear though i don't know and i can make some speculations behind that like for example it's not gonna be the burrower gear right i think we can come to that census if it is the burrower gear i'll be kind of surprised i'll be honest but i'm gonna be like at the same time i really don't think it's gonna be burrower gear reason being is the burrower pack has spellaments in it right so I expect them more to do a key boss than anything else because they can make the key boss, dedicate all those Dwyvim spells to that key boss, and put the gear in there as well. But what would be the R2 rematch gear? I don't know, right? Whatever the next set that comes out in the packs, because I expect a gear, like a new pack coming out. This happens every time. Whenever whenever there's a new pack and then you know becomes free to play or something like that, like just following the trends, of course. Um there's going to be a new pack eventually like in, a, in the next like month i'd say there'll be a new pack if will it have spell elements i doubt it just because we had a spell element pack just introduced with new spells it'll probably just be gear and then that will gear will probably be the r2 rematch dual gear set because what's going to happen right this happens this has been happening a lot pack gear comes out it's pack exclusive people get mad as pack exclusive pv players get mad complain they, they talk to Ratbeard, they talk to the devs, they took like complaining, can you make this free to play? Can you make this free to play? They eventually make it free to play. All right? Then we get a new pack come out. In this scenario, it was the Burrower pack, right? Burrower pack was used more than the Skyfair gear because people were competing for Shads. Now that people aren't really, I mean, people are still using Shads, but people are gonna slowly switch back to Skyfair and like Nightmare and stuff like that, or Nightmire, I mean, for, just less shads because the fact that in advanced combat now we have every shad requires two shads so 
that must include the raid if the if the raid is does not follow those same standards i'll be kind of confused because the whole fact that people were using burrower gear in the raid was because so they can compete for shads against the enemy and they don't have shads right but if now the gear is changed to the point where or the spells have been changed so it's two shads now do you really need to compete against an enemy for shads in the raid probably not right so that literally doesn't require you to have burrower gear anymore right so i feel like people should tweak up those strats just for that reason and if they have a specific card where it's like oh they have you know one shad well they just broke the rules and you know that, that that's completely fair <laughs> but honestly i expect these things to happen right and I, I i'm pretty sure dispel will not be in advanced combat forever because i mean cam was in my chat and you know this is all regarding the nightshade cheese and stuff like that he's like i'm not gonna nitpick your strats thanks for showing though but I don't think I'll build in dispel protections for main deck spells, but I'll fix the cheat one, which is regarding using a, a dispel to basically ignore the bubble cheat. Easy fix is just changing the spell to a moon. And what are you gonna do? You can't use moon dispel, right? So that's, that's an easy fix. And he's like, let's just say, I can't promise this spell will remain in advance forever. So just keep that in mind moving forward, right? I expect some changes to be, done with stuns dispels incendiate is going to be eventually nerfed from key bosses because you won't be able to use incendiate so at this point i think a lot of the player base i'm gonna be honest farm up those spell elements farm up those spell elements get those tier fives right because once those key bosses are changed to change to advanced combat you won't be able to use skull incendiate you can't use backdraft you won't be able to use supercharge you won't be able to use feints um you can't use dispels you can't use stuns it's literally gonna be hot dot blades traps using the six hanging effects people are gonna go for onis people are gonna, and it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be all over the place i'm expecting the community to, to go like all over like berserk they're already going berserk after the after the the recent stuff with the pip change and like that not being like intentional of course but it being a bug people are complaining about pvp i mean luckily like people like liam they're glad that pvp's changed because the shad change i think that's a big plus right but when it comes to the pip stuff people are complained about that people aren't raiding because of the pip change i can't do rematch duels because of the pip change unless you know the only one i can do right now i'm gonna be honest is the lord nightshade one because that doesn't require pips but you know the only thing i can really do on wiz at the moment in my eyes is quest up another character because pve is still completely fine it's just anything that follows advanced combat rules isn't you know doing the right thing that it's supposed to so i'd say just enjoy the benefits that are happening right now in wiz because of the anniversary you know enjoy the double gardening and then all the other um you know the other other benefits that are going to be happening later this month enjoy all those take a break from advanced combat take a break from pvp take a break from raids um all, all that stuff right take a break and en en enjoy whiz for the other aspects of whiz <laughs> um but yeah that that's basically my take on the future of whiz what's gonna happen right of arc 2 rematch duels to advanced combat coming to keep you know key bosses um there, there there's so many things i expect the game to like already have just because you just follow the trends if you just follow the trends you can kind of get an idea of how whiz is gonna happen right or what's gonna happen in whiz i mean so expect a pack coming soon right just because it's expected right if once we got sky free to play skyfair now i expect a new pack to come out and then burrower is going to have some sort of key boss and maybe soon i don't know <laughs> i don't know when that driving key boss is ever even if it's you know if if the r2 rematches are just driving gear just ignore what everything i just said in this video regarding it but it just makes too much sense for it to be a key boss it really does right but that is it for today's video guys hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys haven't be sure to join the discord we're really close to getting 300 members in there really close so if you guys haven't joined discord also if you guys didn't know i do stream pretty often so check out the twitch channel down below if you guys want to help me think of strats for all these key bosses which i kind of already nailed down but you're more than welcome to play with for with me whenever you guys want and um that's about it right 
So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all type of stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.